glad to be sharing the screen with you again. Jeez, this reminds me of the early days, hey, when we were getting ready to launch. Yeah, I was actually thinking about that earlier, but there were times where we weren't excited to come onto a Zoom. <laughs> we were petrified to come onto a Zoom and deliver bad news. So these days, most of the time, I'd say 99% of the time when we get together, we're delivering good news and amazing developments and um, everything to always improve. And I just think like, if you look at this amazing hot water bottle that I've got, I mean, have you ever seen anything like that before? Traditionally, a hot water bottle is, you know, 30 centimeters by 20 centimeters. And it made me think of Gift of Legacy because um, we're constantly reinventing the wheel. And um, that's what makes this platform so special. And that's why I can guarantee that there isn't another one like this. Wow, I, I need to ask you, where did you get that monster water bottle from? I want to go get myself one tomorrow. That is huge. I promise you, they are the best. They are so nice. You don't need an electric blanket. You just put them in your bed before you go to sleep and everything's warm. I got it from Mumbo's Plastic Warehouse. Hmm. If we don't have yeah. that Habian Jobu, you have to buy me one and send it up to me. I love it. Look at the size of it. <laughs> it's so cool. I love it. Yeah. Love it. Oh, brilliant. No, I'll tell you what, um, like what we were saying just now, you know, Candice and I were on many, many, many Zoom calls together leading up to the launch of, uh, of Gifted Legacy end of last year, as many of you probably know. And yeah, you know, there's some some calls where we were sweating blood. I remember the one the one evening when we were meant to launch and uh, we had to delay it. I cried my eyeballs out in front of 2,000 people. That was like so embarrassing. But you know what, that's... Um, that's all part of the realness and, and the emotions because let me tell you something, uh, we put our, our, our life, our soul, everything into this baby and um, guess what's happening next week, um, oh, sorry, this Sunday guys, this Sunday Gibson of Legacy is six months old, it's still a baby, Gibson of Legacy is still in diapers and um, now our students can be taking this first step so we've got to be crawling fast crawling very fast at the moment and soon it's going to get up and start walking and that's when it gets up to start walking that's when we're going to hit what we call um that exponential growth curve which we haven't hit yet guys we we started hitting it as a lot of you know we launched on the 10th of january this year and uh yeah we, we started growing there's a saying in marketing called growing 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 gone i think there's actually a book called growing growing gone and that's all about um, managing and facilitating growth. And companies that grow too quickly can end up folding. That's a phenomenon. And um, we were a little bit worried because we were growing at such a rate that we thought, can the servers handle that amount of people coming onto the website? And it's been constant upgrading, upgrading, upgrading. And not to rehash what we spoke about two weeks ago, but yes, a lot of people do know we did have that um, cyber attack. We were literally under attack. And um, you know that, that slowed a lot of things down. And we had to put all the security measures um, in place. And uh, you know things that we wanted to do when we launched is something that we're going to be talking to you guys about tonight, which is so, so exciting. Because with us with that, coming from the precursor program, what we wanted to bring to the world was something that the world had never seen before, something so unique, something so different. And um, because we had the pressure of, from the community that we needed to launch like yesterday, and we launched um, with the system working. And if you think about it, guys, we have not had any um, um, systems collapsing. The website hasn't crashed. Uh, it nearly did when we were under cyber attack. Now, there's a difference between us instructing for the site to go down versus the website crashing. Those are two very different things. Um, and we called that at the last minute. We said, shut the site down immediately. We were hours away from the site actually collapsing. If that had to happen, you're looking at weeks getting up and going again. And thank goodness we were protected and the right thing happened at the right time. And we basically saved um, GL in his tracks. And um, you know that, that's something that's something pretty scary that that can happen so easily. And um, so here we are now, ready to uh, to put in place something that we wanted to have when we launched, 
but we, we needed um, six weeks and we didn't have six weeks. And we always said that when we launch, there's going to be improvements all the time. We said that right from the start. So it's like we took off, the plane was in the air, but we're still building the plane while we're in the air. And uh, we've been working uh, day and night, 24 seven, putting what we're putting together now is the boards splitting at four. A lot of you guys have got a bit of an idea of the impact that this is going to have. Guys, if, if you knew the impact this is gonna have, you guys are not gonna sleep tonight, I can promise you right now. And we're talking from personal experience, I can see Candace smiling there, because she knows. Because- well, We haven't <laughs> slept much. <laughs> We haven't slept much. No, if we've got black wings under our eyes, um, that's, that's from lack of sleep to meet the deadline. And the deadline is we, what we're going to be showing you guys tonight is going to be implemented and deployed on Monday the 11th, one day after our six-month birthday anniversary. So if you, if you think back um, how the boards currently work, is we all know we all know um, how the boards work, that you've got to have your eight gifters that come on and then the board spins and then the board moves, right? But we, the way it is, is you've got to have all eight gifters to come onto the board. So we all know you've got a left hemisphere and you've got a right hemisphere, which Candice is going to go through in detail now. But I want to talk about the frustrating part of knowing what the potential is, but still keeping going with what we had in our hands. And the frustration where you've got the one hemisphere of the board flying, going like a rocket ship. And because the other four gifters on the other side of the board hadn't come in, we all know what that did. It stopped the board from spinning. Hence, you talk about that word, a uh, stuck board, right? So what we, what's happening right now is we're talking about unstucking boards, guys. Unstucking stuck boards. <laughs> and, um, you know, it, it's so frustrating. I look at myself where I also, I'm on, on a board and I'm on a, in a gold position and the, uh, I am the guide in the board, on the board and only the one side has been filled for the last three months. You know how frustrating it's been? I've been wanting to pull my hair out because I've got no control of it. It, it, it makes me think of the serenity prayer where it says, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, the courage to change the things I can and the wisdom to know the difference. We talk about control the controllables. And when you feel that you've got no control then, it makes you feel powerless. And there's nothing worse than feeling powerless. And we know what needed to be done. And we knew that it's gonna take a bit of time. So there's nothing you can really do about it. You just kind of like have faith and go, you know what, everything is going to come right. And this is where we're at right now. So what we're launching on Monday is the boards splitting at four but it's, it's more than that guys this is something that's that's written into the algorithm that was not in the precursor program and that's why it's taken us the last basically six weeks to get this done um we're doing something so unique so different that has never been done in a gifting community ever before and this is what's going to take gifted legacy to the next level and now i believe guys we are now going to, from Monday, we're going to hit that exponential growth curve. So hold on tight, guys. Hold on tight. Yeah, and then just going back to, I mean, you know, if you've got somebody that's a builder and they've brought in their two people and then the other builders brought in their two people and everyone's so excited and they've got their two people, but they can't join because nothing's working because the board's not, not full yet. Um, so this is going to change everything. and. Um, you know, in KH, I was actually, I wasn't in support of the board splitting in KH. I was actually, um, I was the one that was more for the community and saying, no, we've got to help each other. We've got to make sure that everybody's on the board and we could all move together. But I think, you know, the energy was very different then. Like we said before, when gifters came onto the board in the precursor program, they got hold of the legend straight away and they asked where to get their gift. That isn't happening here. And, and like Chris said, I think it's just because it's grown so quickly. Everybody was jumping in. People were just adding their lists without giving personal invitations. And that kind of got lost. So 
um, you do have boards at the moment where they are really, really pumping on the one side and then everything just has to pause because of that. And um, like I said, I was for the community build, but it was different. And now um, not having the choice and the option to have it split at four, I'm like, no ways. Um, <laughs> that's history. That's the old water bottle size. Now we're going to the new board, board, uh, hot water bottle size. So um, this, when we said we were going to um, do splitting of boards, it created excitement for the people that were in the precursor program because they had an understanding of kind of how it worked, but it also created a huge amount of confusion with people that didn't understand. So we're going to go through the presentation um, this evening and um, please just bear with me. It's a brand new presentation. The last one that, you know, the normal one that we do, we, we had like a year to practice <laughs> before we actually launched. So um, it's, it's a little bit complicated. So if I lose you, just come back on Friday and we'll explain it again. And on Friday, we've also got Tim and Melissa, which are just gonna give amazing perspectives um, in a different way to how Chris and I do. So please join us on Friday as well. And on Friday, we're gonna open up for questions and answers just so that we can make sure everybody understands how this actually works. So let me share my screen. Yeah, what Melissa is going to talk about on, um, on Friday, um, Melissa studied uh, statistics. She uh, studied accounting. She has a degree and statistics is what, one of the things that she studied. And she's going to be going through the statistics on the ratios of the eight to one versus the four to one ratio and the impact, the positive impact that it's gonna have um, making the balls moving um, a lot quicker and from an exponential point of view. So, so don't miss Friday as well. Oops, <laughs> let me not uh, get ahead of myself here, hold on. All right, so I was actually just trying to minimize all of everyone's faces because <laughs> there we go, okay. So welcome to Gift of Legacy the most unique and awesome gifting program in the world. And I still stand by that. And I'm so grateful that it's the best one because I would hate to be joining any other one, which I'm not because I'm so loyal to Gift of Legacy. But um, tonight we are going to cover board splitting. So if you are new and you're on here for the first time, um, you're more than welcome to stay on, um, but you might get lost. And all you need to do is straight after this, get onto YouTube, find a, a recording of one of the presentations where you actually learn how Gift of Legacy works, and then you'll have a better understanding of this. But we are very, very excited to have you all here. And we're on 296 people, so we've almost filled the Zoom room. And um, let's get started. So here we've got a normal Gift of Legacy board. It's a bronze board. I'm talking about bronze boards because there's an exciting new feature that Chris alluded to. And also, um, this is where you begin your journey on the bronze board. So unlike the other training that we've done, I've actually named all of the positions just to give you a better understanding of where everybody moves around. So we've got the left hemisphere where you've got four gifters, two builders and a guard. And on the right hemisphere, you've got four builders, two gifters on a guard. And of course, you've got the legend in the middle, which is where everybody um, needs to get to in order to receive an abundance. And it's possible for everybody. You just need to put a little bit of effort in. So we've got billionaire who is in the legend position. We've got money bags and platinum love in the guard position. And then we've got golden eye, super rich, money, honey, and abundance. So, We've got the left-hand side, which have been coming to Zooms. They are so excited. They've gone through all of the training. They've gone through the academy. They really are super excited to be on Gift of Legacy. They see the potential. They feel the potential. And, you know, they've seen so many people on the testimonials group that have also shared the success. So for them, filling up the left-hand side of the board is really, really easy. You've got your first gifter, which is um, Super Rich's gifter, Dolly Happy. Then Golden Eye gets their first gifter, Gold Dust. Then gifter number two comes in also under Golden Eye. And then of course, Super Rich is so excited because they get their second person, which is Magic Money. Now, the amazing thing here 
is that the billionaire legend will be able to now fast track to the silver board after having received four gifts. So there will still be movements ensured in his upwards journey. However, when he confirms magic money, gift to number four, the left side of the board will split off. But this board will remain exactly the same. So billionaire, please don't draw on the screen. Um, yeah, I'm going to just stop and go back because that is just very frustrating. Please, no Picassos tonight. Uh, let's go back there. All right. So we have um, money bags, golden eye, super rich, gold dust, gold glitter, dollar happy, and magic money that are going to split off. But like I said, this board remains intact. Money bags and the left side of the board won't see this board anymore. But billionaire, platinum love, money, honey, and abundance, when they log in and they go onto their board, they will still see this board. The left hemisphere, which is them, when they now log in and go onto their bronze board, it is going to look like this. So the left hemisphere is now full once the legend comes to him as the fourth gifter and the board will split and now will open a new board. So second broad, board, bro, um, bronze board opens up for the left hemisphere. And of course your guide becomes the legend. The two builders now become the guides and the four gifters now become the builders. So you'll see money bags is there, golden eye, super rich, and then gold dust, gold glitter, dollar happy, magic money are the four builders that have just arrived. Now, can you imagine the excitement? These people have just gone on. They've barely spent any time in a gifted position. And now they find themselves in the builder position. And because they're such a good team and they've been communicating, going to the training, joining all of the Zoom calls, they are absolutely flying. So we've got Moneybags community working well together and they are filling up the board pretty evenly. So in a perfect world, um, which I'm going to explain now, we are just going to, for the purposes of this presentation, pretend that this board is full of gifters and it splits at exactly the same time. But in light of what we've been explaining, there is the possibility that one side could split off before the other. So the board is full. And like I said, if Golden Eye or Super Rich had filled up the one hemisphere before the other, then it would split off. But to make it less complicated, we're just going to present, pretend that this one filled up like it should have. And of course, money bags is now complete. But because the previous legend is still waiting for gifters on the right hemisphere of her original board, dun -da -da, money bags will now have the opportunity to go on an exclusive perpetual cycle. So money bags will actually go back to the original board where billionaire is the legend and be there on position number five as the gifter. So you can see on the left hand side, money bags is still there because this board is now closed on the left hand side. And that is why money bags gets the opportunity because they worked hard and they work well to come on a perpetual journey. So money bags will be able to receive a perpetual journey. When they get to legend, they will get $800 of which they can now keep $700 as a reward for helping this board that's been stuck. Oh, wow. So that's kind of showing that you, your name visibly here is twice on one board. Yeah, Holy exactly. moly. That's only sunk into my brain now. Yo. <laughs> Wow. So, wow. of course, now the right hand side of the board is so excited because they've been trying whatever they can. They just can't find people. They're not coming to the Zooms. They're too busy with life. But Money Honey sees money bags come back onto the board and so excited. They're chatting on the board chat. Money bags is saying how happy they are that they received and they were able to go onto the silver board and now got this perpetual journey. So, in all the excitement, Money Honey invited gold coin to join them and now we're going to go back to the other two boards that were created after money bags left 
and that is super rich and um, golden eye. So just to show you, they've got their own boards. And of course, they are building like champions. So those will fill up. And when Golden Eye and Super Rich complete, guess where they come? They follow onto the board. But this is obviously your worst case scenario because obviously you would hope that Abundance and Money Honey, after seeing the movements, would now start inviting their own people. But worst case scenario, if no one's doing anything, the other people will then follow suit and they also get the opportunity to come and ride the perpetual board, which is a beautiful reward for wonderful teamwork. Wow, so that basically means that the stronger side, once it's broken off, will then come back and feed back onto the other side to help them and just get that overall movement happening. How does it get better than that? <laughs> you know, wow. we always said wow. nobody gets left behind. Since we started this program, since we started talking about it, we always maintained that no one would get left behind. And of course, because things have changed, people aren't doing what they're supposed to do. We still want to help the people that are stuck in positions, um, in a guide position where the builders aren't doing anything. And, um, you know, they just need that extra help. So, Chris, if you want to just go through the recap. Um, yeah, before I go through that, that's basically going to put the algorithm on steroids. Yep. Next level, here we come. Oh, my word, I can't wait till Monday. Because just wait. think about it. Think about it. If you are a guard on any of the boards and that hemisphere where you are a guard is full, when we flip the switch on Monday, you're going to go straight into a legend position. And then... Let's just start wow. making, let's get the movement wow. in, let's get the excitement going, let's get people to start embodying again. Jeez, that is, that is next level. That is next level. Wow, if you guys knew what's happening, if you, if you, if you, if you I don't know, I'm, I'm not going to sleep tonight because um, what, what you mentioned just now, that went over my head when we were talking about it earlier and now the penny finally dropped now. Holy moly, that is exciting. That is exciting. So basically on the recap where, you know, the one hemisphere is filled, as you know, with the four gifters, either the position one or four or five to eight, that's either the left or the right hemisphere. That means once the four gifters are in one side, the board, that side of the board is going to split. And then, all right, from the, uh, then the guard for the, so you, you saw how Candice just showed you the board now. So you've obviously got B, guides on either side, left and right. So the one that splits off, that means that the guides from that side will then become their legends immediately without all eight coming in, just the four coming in, they will automatically become the legend. And then the two builders will become the guides and then the four gifters become the builders. And that can happen in a very short time frame compared to having to wait for the other side to fill up. And then the perpetual cycle on the bronze will now open up for a legend that has completed their bronze board before their original bronze board. Wow, this is like, um, you're sort of like doubling up here. So, wow, 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 wow. That is and you know, Chris, insane. I'm just thinking about it. When we were in the precursor program, mm -hmm. I mean, isn't that how you guys got to... The, the 2000 board, which was the top board at that time, the fourth board, isn't that how you and your team actually did it? Because you built those teams so strong, doing two by two, but also filling four, four, four. So um, you guys That's did right. so yeah. well. Yeah, because what, what, what we used to do is, um, I've, I've, I've told a lot of people, people said, how on earth did you go through that whole cycle of being a brand new, brand new person, gifting you $100, going through the cycle in four and a half months, how on earth did you humanly do it? Um, I personally uh, signed up, I think it was about, I don't know, 17 or 18 people. Okay, that was over a four and a half month period. I mean, I was busy with my name list, I was getting people on Zoom calls. But what I did was, you know, I signed up by, by, by two people, but then the, the, the um, mindset that we were getting into the teams was, um, you know, when a person's brand new, They've just joined. They're not going to get their person joining um, within an hour or two or a day or two. You know, sometimes it'll take a week or two for them to get their guests onto the Zoom calls 
and eventually get the first yes, first person on. So, you know, I had extra people. So what I did was I would have a look and I'd monitor my boards very carefully and watch the movement. And then as soon as there was a section where there, there was a, a new person that had come on and after about a week, if nobody has, had been signed up there, I would get in contact with them and say, hey, listen, um, I've got a person that, I, that I'm, I can actually join underneath you. But you do this with a condition that you will do the same when you've got your two people and then you've got your third, fourth, fifth people. Don't ever sign up three people using your link. You're actually wasting that person because the, um, the requirement, as we all know, with Gifted Legacy is you sign up the minimum of two people. So a third, fourth, fifth person signing up on your own link is a waste. Rather help your team. But the way it works is I will give one person to a person. Never, ever, ever give two people to a person because then what you're doing is you, you basically, you're cutting a person's wings by doing something like that. Um, the, you know, it's a two-way street. It's all about helping a person but not doing all the work for them. So if you've helped them with one person, now imagine this, you're brand new, you've been in Gift to Legacy for let's call it a week, and all of a sudden you get a call or a WhatsApp from somebody within the structure saying, hey, I see you new, welcome, I, please send me your invite link, I'd like to sign somebody up for you. But just imagine, put yourself in that person's shoes, you're going to think, what, this is absolutely amazing. That is going to give a person energy and excitement. And then they'll get their first person, which means it's their second person because you aided them, you helped them with the first person. But when they've got their second person that on the system, it shows their third. So what they're going to do is look at their structure and help that person with one person. And that's how we built the lineage. And that's how a lot of us went through the system in between four to five months. And it wasn't just me, it was myself and a lot of the members um, within my lineage that all went through the boards um, like that at the same time. So we want to bring that same mindset back into Gift of Legacy because as Candice mentioned um, uh, uh, just now, because we grew so quickly, um, you know, people come from different, um, if you know, I don't know, what use word, platforms, but where people could just fill up spaces and just put people in, put people in, sign up their kids, their grandparents, you name it, just, just filling up spots. And we know that the, we know the detriment that that has um, on a community like this, because we all talk about the two by two by two build, but bringing like-minded and like-hearted people into the program. Uh, myself, personally, there's a few people um, of late, I'm talking about the last two months, where I have not signed them up because I actually said to them, you know what, this is not for you. That person goes, Chris, how can you do that? This is a person that you can get them into Gift of Legacy. I said, no, no, I'm very picky with the people that come into Gift of Legacy. And there's a reason for that because, you know, I had a person that, that wanted to come on board about two weeks ago and ah, just, just the way that it came across saying it was like very over casual, sort of like, yeah, ah, you know what, let, 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 I'll, I'll come in kind of like, like doing me a favor. Um, and that's not the, the energy that, um, that I want to bring into Gift of Legacy. I want somebody to see Gift of Legacy and say, oh my hat, wow, wow, wow. Where's this been my whole life? I can't wait. How do I get going? Please get me a link. I want to join ASAP. Those are the people that I want to work with. And that's the beauty about Gift of Legacy. It's not like, you're, like, like a job. You know, if you go and work for a job, you walk into the office your first day at work and you've got 40 new, new colleagues that you're working with. You don't know them from a bar of soap. But guess what? You're stuck with them. And a month later, you might not like some of them. But guess what? You're still stuck with them. You didn't have a choice as to who you're going to be working with. The beauty with Gift to Legacy, you can choose very carefully who you want with you on this journey. So I say pick wisely pick wisely because this is a is, is a journey that is going to be going for years and decades so you want to work with people that you want to work with people that resonate at the fre same frequency as you because it's all about like-minded like-hearted people so 
at the end here, this, this ensures that all the boards get assisted and nobody gets left behind. So, you know, in closing off, we, we spoke about that in all the presentations, talking about how the algorithm works, nobody getting left behind. So this is going to aid the algorithm big time. But guys, always don't forget, the algorithm is not something that has been put in place to save you. It hasn't been put in place to save you. Um, it will work. It is working. It is currently working for people that are putting the effort in. So if you're putting the effort in, it's going to work faster for you. Will a board get filled up? Um, yes, it will with the algorithm. If you, if you come into the program and you do absolutely nothing, you will eventually get to legend. You will get there. That's a, that's a mathematical certainty, but it's going to take a while to get there. So there is a truth that you will not get there behind. You won't, but it's not going to happen overnight. If you're putting the work in and you're putting the effort in, it will work faster for you. That is, that is fact. You've heard me say a few times um, um, on some of the Zoom calls over the last couple of months, there are people in this community that are probably on the Zoom call right now, you guys know who you are, um, that joined probably about a month after we launched, and they have already cycled through the platinum boards. They've come in to their perpetual platinum for the third time for the third time, and they only joined four and a half, five months ago. And um, so is the system working? Guys, that is proof, it's in black and white. Oh, well, actually it's in color, but um, it's working guys. It is working for the people that are putting the work in. Um, there's nothing worse than when a person sends me a picture, they send me a picture of their board and they say, my board's stuck. My board's not moving. What are you going to do about it? And I sit there going, whoa, what am I going to do about it? Well, let's have a look. How can I help you? I'm always here to help people. Um, I've got a lot of compassion. Uh, people know me. That's my nature. I try and help everybody that I can. But then, you know, a picture speaks a thousand words. A picture speaks a thousand words. And a picture doesn't lie. And very quickly, I dissect it. And I have a look at the picture. And I see that they are still white. And I have a look and I go, um, where are your people? And they go, I haven't signed anybody up. I'm waiting for the algorithm to kick in. I'm like, whew, gee whiz, um, it's, that's not gonna work. You've gotta put, got put the effort in. You've gotta put the effort in. It, um, Regan always talks about, you cannot be rewarded for the work that you have not done. It's a universal law. It's a universal law. Um, from an energetic point of view, it just doesn't feel right. You have to put a little bit of effort in. And the minimum is two people. The minimum is two people. And, you know, hands down, I've, I've done many things in my life. I've been in network marketing. I've been in direct sales. I've run my own uh, international toy company for a, a decade. And I've done a lot of things that are very difficult to make money. Hands down, this is the easiest Thing I've ever seen in my life. It is so basic. K-R-S-S. Keep it super simple. $100. Get to like-minded, like-hearted people who are going to do the same. And if you do that, guys, um, the sky is the limit. The sky is the limit. And just keep yourself plugged in. We've got such amazing training. You know, last night Tim was on and yo, what he was talking about last night um, it got cut off because of the um, electricity issues we have in South Africa and it went off like four times and some of the information he was talking about with uh, inflation uh, worldwide he's going to be talking about um, on Friday I asked him today I said please can you repeat that he's going to talk about 10 minutes on Friday and that's things that are out of our control uh, inflation worldwide is, is, is going through the roof we all know that Last night, our petrol price, our gas price went up. South African Rand is 2 Rand 57. That's a lot of money. I was talking to my brother in the UK today. Their gas price is two pounds a litre. Two, that's 40 Rand a litre. Guys, the prices of everything is just going up. Inflation is going through the roof at the moment. And a lot of people don't have a plan B. So if inflation is going up, at the moment, it's 17.5% per year in South Africa, 17.5%. Is your income going up 
by 17.5% per year. That's just to break even and keep living your life that way you always have. You've got to be achieving more than a 17.5% price uh, increase into your monthly income. People aren't doing it. People are earning less money. So people are looking for other things. And, and this is what Gifted Legacy can, can give you. It can be the olive um, branch that can, that can really save you because those credit cards are just getting higher and higher and higher credit card debt. And you, you know, pay Rob from Peter to pay Paul. Uh, everybody just wants to get to break even now and get out of debt because the last two years, everybody's got themselves into debt, not their own fault, but because of what ha what's happened in this world the last two years. So people need to play catch up. And that's what Gifted Legacy can, can give to you, can give you the opportunity to play catch up and just get yourself back to level and then start building wealth again. That's what we've all been put here on this planet is to live an abundant, happy life. That's what we've been put here to, to live, you know? So let's, let's just do it. Let's work together as a community, as a family, and let's just um, make this happen. Yeah, and please, please don't make Gift of Legacy or anything the source of where your money comes from because we are amazing beings. We are incredible. We have the ability to create realities that can exist outside of what we've been brainwashed into believing. And that's, that's why I'm part of Gift of Legacy because I believe that it, it can give people the opportunity to choose differently, but it's a tool. It's a tool and it needs to be used in the correct way. So like Chris said, $100, two like-minded people, but it's a tool. It's not going to be something that saves you. It's not something that you should put all your eggs in one basket with because getting to the point of being on a perpetual journey and getting to the gold and the platinum board requires efforts. If you come in and you just bring two people, boy, oh boy, you're going to wait a long time before you, you know, you, you get to the gold or the platinum. So nurture those people like you would look after a plant. Make sure that they understand everything before they join. And like Chris said, you made such a great point. If people aren't like, oh my God, and they don't see it like you saw it, you've planted a seed, but don't waste your time on them. They're not ready yet. And even if they give you a yes, if it's not a yes that comes from the bottom of their heart full of passion, they're not going to be able to do this. They're not going to be able to do this right now. Maybe in six months time, maybe in a year's time. I mean, there's so many people on some of our groups that are, I scroll through. And um, one, of, one of our lovely leaders um, was saying that she had people that she brought on. They've been doing nothing for the last four months. And all of a sudden, like Chris always likes to talk about cycles, all of a sudden they're excited. They're bringing people. They've got it now. They inner stand it. And I use the word inner stand because gift of legacy is not something you're ever going to understand. To understand someone, you have to stand underneath them and then you bring their points of view into your life. Inner standing is something that comes from the heart. It's a knowing that we come to this planet with. And, um, You'll wake up one day and just understand it. <laughs> and just like if you're confused with the boards, I mean, even Chris said that, you know, that last little nugget was like, oh my word, wow, you're coming back to the same board. So you're leaving a board, you're abandoning your legend, but you're going to come back and, and sort that legend and that board out if they haven't done so themselves. So this is a beautiful way of creating movement. I also just want to talk about bronze boards not being perpetual anymore. I mean, you guys have seen the stats, the bronze boards, there are thousands, if not even a hundred thousand by now of, of bronze boards. And like Chris said, we grew very quickly. People were not being educated. They were using the bronze board incorrectly. They were getting people to come on for less than the hundred dollars. Again, um, the value of a hundred dollars is all about commitment and how much skin is in the game. So even if people can't afford $100, then get four, five, six people together to take one position. Imagine how four, five, or six people working together, imagine how successful they could be if only they needed to bring two. And then when they get to legend, they get to take out another position. So there's so many beautiful ways that you can still make the system work for you following the guidelines. 
like I've said before, network marketers came in and they just started adding lists of people without actually getting their sacred yes. So they were creating movement, sure, for the people on the top. Um, you know, when you put lists in, every time you put eight people, it requires 16 more. So a list always runs out. And in the precursor program, we were on a few different teams where we thought that we would be good on going on a list and being on a conveyor belt. And they all fell flat. I lost a lot of money because I was so sure that it would work because of my experience in building two by two. I didn't actually know the structure until I was in it. And I lost a lot of money doing it that way. That's why we always go on about the guidelines and keeping tapped in because you know, Chris and I are here because we want to change the world. You know, we're not, we're not here for our own gain because we would have put ourselves at the top of the structure if we wanted to do that. And we would have disappeared and stopped doing Zoom calls and not been around anymore. And we've stuck here and we've been the faces and we've faced a lot of adversity um, because people aren't doing it the right way. So, you know, get tapped in, follow the guidelines. If somebody isn't ready to join, don't force them to join. This is not a game of convincing people. Um, and if it takes longer, then it takes longer. I would rather have quality people that have taken me a bit longer than having eight to 10 people that I'm stuck with that don't wanna do anything. You know, I met a lady from Canada the other day and she's like, I don't wanna be with the people I brought in anymore. I don't even wanna travel with them. I don't like them anymore. They've shown me who they really are. So um, yeah, just share it in a beautiful way. This is a tool that can really change your life, but it's not something that you can just invest in and sit back and wait for your money to grow. We've all seen how that's gone of recent and um, oh, yeah. it's not working very well, is it? Yes, I love what you said there, Candice. Nice reminder, we're not in the convincing game. Not in the convincing. You know, a, a week, yes is as strong as a no. Always remember that. Always remember that. Um, person goes, you've heard me say this before in the trainings, when the person wants to come on board and they go, oh, you know what, I'll give it a go. Man, oh man, you don't go for a job interview and then you get the job and the new boss phones you and says, hey, listen, Chris, you've got the job and you go, oh, thank you, I'll give it a go. Uh, I think they're going to change their mind whether they're going to hire you or not. And, um, you know, just, just closing off, closing off now, um, just um, adding on to what uh, Candice said now about, you know, putting the, putting a bit of work in, a bit of work um, ethic. And, you know, there is that, that four letter swear word that makes people run for the hills. That four letter, <laughs> Granny's putting her hands over her ears. <laughs> that four letter swear word is W-R-K, work. And um, yes, it does take work. It's not just gonna land on, on your lap. What you put in is in direct proportion to what you are going to get out so you can you know decide how quickly you want to do it and um you know on 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 on, on friday i was um having lunch um with my girlfriend and regan and melissa and um i ordered an orange juice and uh it was a freshly squeezed orange juice and when the waiter came and put the glass down um i took a sip and i said wow this is delicious. This is freshly squeezed orange juice. So I looked at the waiter and I said to him, you know what? When you, when you squeeze an orange, what comes out of it? So he looked at me with this like passive look on his face and thought, what? I said, what comes out of an orange when you squeeze it? He looks at me and goes, orange juice. I said, not apple juice. He goes, no, 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 no orange juice. So nothing else can come out of that orange. Looks at me like puzzled, going, No, nothing else. So only orange juice will come out of that orange. He goes, Yes. I said, Well, you know what? Guess what happens when you squeeze a human being? And he goes, Squeeze a human being? What comes out of a human when you squeeze it? He goes, No, I'm not too sure. I said, The true colors come out when you squeeze a human. The true colors come out. So that just made me think about what Candace said, where you've got people on boards that they, they did like them. And now they don't want to be on the board with them anymore. And they don't like them anymore. Because you know what? That squeeze, that squeeze is that little bit of effort that needs to come in. That little bit of work 
that you've got to do. And that's a little bit of pressure. And you put a little bit of pressure, that's when a person's true colors come out. And then you know you do and don't want to work with. And that's why we say, pick the people very carefully. It's not about quantity. It's about quality. Quality, like-minded, and like-hearted people. So from my side, I want to say thank you for taking the time out. We've had amazing people. We've had maybe 300, well, 300 people on Zoom. I think about two, 300 people on YouTube. Um, thank you. It's really been awesome. I absolutely love it when we get supported uh, on the Zooms. Um, it just gives us the energy to, to keep pushing and doing what we're doing. So on Friday, 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 uh, we're going to have Tim and Melissa joining Candice and I. So it's going to be the four of us on Friday. We're going to have such an awesome time. For the Q&A, we might go a little bit over time. So, you know, we're going to cover all the important parts from eight to nine. And then the Q&A will probably do from about nine to 9.30 if you want to, um, if you want to stay on. And we're going to go through a little bit of strategies on how to make the new board splitting at four and how to um, work it properly to make it work in everybody's favor. So we're going to give you a, a few nuggets um, with regard to that. So you guys must have an awesome uh, day tomorrow, have an awesome Friday, and then we'll see you same place, same time, same Zoom, eight o'clock on Friday evening, 8 p.m. GMT plus two South African time. So from my side, good night, everybody. Look after yourselves. Love you all. And um, yeah, I just want to touch on one thing that Chris said, um, work. <laughs> oh my gosh, you know what? Compared to a nine to five job and having to sit in traffic and everything that comes with that, this is amazing. This is the best work I've ever done. So um, yeah, you can choose. Go carry on with the nine to five or come and play with us because we've turned work into play. So sending you guys so much love. Um, this is going to give us such huge momentum. And um, yeah, it's going to be like January 10th all over again. Thank you all for coming. We love you so much. And um, just keep engaged. Big love. Love you guys. Not out, guys. Bye. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye, bye.